It could be shopping. It could be Netflix. Brothers and sisters, we have to put God first. And it will create a good relationship with God. Next one. Walk this way. It means walking in obedience. In Psalms 128, verse 1, Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. It means we have to repent all our sins. Because sin separates us from God. It will create a barrier between you and God. So since we keep on sinning, we have to ask forgiveness from the Lord. Take note, blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. Second to the last. Let go. In John 47, 14, I should say, John 14, verse 67, Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Yes, I trust the Lord, but still you hang on with your problems. Letting go of your own control is the key to trust God in difficult times. Just imagine, grab all your problems, put it inside the box, grab it, and you have to put a ribbon and give it to the Lord. Let go. It's like giving all your problems to Jesus, right? Let him take over. Just like the song, Jesus takes the wheel. Just like the story of Job and she was struggling at the time. Because if the king knew that there was a baby inside her house, then the baby, baby Moses was really dumb. After three months of hiding baby Moses, she decided to hand him over to the Lord by putting baby Moses inside the basket and let it flow in the river. What did she do? Let go of control. 
ปล่อยวาง and let God be in control อย่าให้พระเจ้าเป็นผู้ดูแลแทน last one ข้อสุดท้ายนะคะ wait for it ก็คือให้เรารอคอย in Isaiah 40 verse 31 but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint อิสยาห์บทที่40ข้อที่31นะคะแต่เขาทั้งหลายผู้รอคอยพระเจ้าจะเสริมเรียวแรงใหม่เขาจะบินขึ้นด้วยปีกเหมือนนกอินทรีเขาจะวิ่งและไม่เด็ดเหนื่อยเขาจะเจอเด็กไม่หอดแพ้ remember that they told me that our house was for sale จำได้ไหมคะที่มีฉันบอกว่าบ้านเราประกาศขาย I landed a job already after I graduated เมื่อที่ฉันรับปริญญาก็ได้งานทันที in a private school That was really a blessing from the Lord. And I was so happy about it. I was thinking that this is the way. This is the way that I can help my family. That's where I met Amy. She was one of my students here. But do you know the salary in a private school is very low? I became a breadwinner at 20 years old. My salary at that time was only 5,000 pesos per month. And I have to budget everything, the needs, the electricity, water bills, food, my fare, everything. In my first year, I was struggling so hard. But do you know I didn't complain? Because that was my goal when I was in college. I will help my family. Second year, second year in my in that school. My brother, elder brother, decided to continue his degree. That was another challenge. We don't have another source of income. But do you know, the uncle of my father, who was a retired principal, sponsored my brother's Christian. But the problem was, I have to help him with his miscellaneous fees. It was so hard. And you know, sometimes my mother would borrow some money. She even entered a lending company. With big interest. And I had to pay for the loan every week. And take note, I only have 5,000 pesos per month. So I have to get my salary in advance. Oh. 
Do you know cash in advance, right? <laughs> so there were times that I will only receive the envelope with a basement inside without the money to the salary date. And if your guys is still there. <laughs> it helps us to survive. There was a time that my one of my colleagues told me, let's go out and eat outside because it's Saturday day. I refused. I said I have to go home early because that's what my mother told me. <laughs> but actually I didn't have the money at all. I had only seven pesos in my wallet. For my failure. During my fourth year in that school, God answered our prayer. Not only one. Five prayers in one time. Wow. First, my brother graduated. In August, he passed the criminologist licensure examination. In October, we sold our house. In November, my brother was hired in the Philippine National Police. The following year in June, the fifth prayer, I was hired in the government school. Speechless. We waited for it. For so long. Almost eight years. But God's timing was so perfect that while we were waiting, He was working on it and He was working in us. Let us stay focused and keep our faith burning because it will result into a greater blessing. And for sure, there will be rewards in heaven. What should we do if we face difficult times in our lives? Go back to his promise and don't forget these seven principles. Pray, grow your faith, recall his blessings, choose a day, walk this way, let go and wait for it. Let us read our verse together. Hello. Ah, how about the key? Our name is Nikhil.